We thank you for being with us tonight on B3 Fights. It's B3 Fights 57 on GFL.TV. Greg Gaston and Jason Lederfine. We are cage side at the Summit Center in Tupelo, Mississippi. Now time for a B3 Fights lightweight division battle. Josiah Bradford and Noah Walk, two Mississippians going at it. Josiah Bradford from Columbus, Mississippi, and relentless MMA. He'll be coached and cornered by Jake Reeves and Wesley Bostick. He is new, as is Noah Walk. Bradford, as we talk about the tail of the tape, 6'1", 153 pounder, a freestyle fighter. He is 17 years of age. Both these fighters are similar when you look at the statistics, although Walk is a stand-up fighter. Bradford will do a little bit of everything, and here is Josiah Bradford. I think Bradford's strength's gonna be his grappling. Like you mentioned, he's only 17 years old and he's already stepping in the cage. You know, it takes a lot for someone that age to get up and get ready to be in this cage. Noah Walk, his adversary from Coldwater, Mississippi, and ETA, Enlightened Training Academy. Bradford, by the way, relentless MMA. Noah Walk, coached by Dave Estep. He'll be cornered by Nick Moss. Here he is from Coldwater, Mississippi. 6'1", 155, and he's 18. So both fighters making their debut. Both fighters are very, very young. Noah Walk, though, is a stand-up fighter. He wants to connect. He wants to knock out Bradford. That'll be his strategy. These guys are really similar, 6'1". They both came in right around 155 pounds. So we're going to see who's stronger. Is, is the stand-up better from Walk, or is the grappling going to be better from Bradford? And nothing like to start off your MMA amateur career with a W and a W here on B3 Fights. There's Noah Walk. And Clint Kolosinski checks out the two fighters. Let's get the formal introduction of the two with Michael Kelly. V3 Legion, this bout is brought to you by Platinum Jewelers. And it's set for three, three minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the red trunks with the black and white trim. At six feet and one inches, he weighed in at 153.4 pounds. A freestyle fighter, making his MMA debut. Representing Relentless MMA, and fighting out of Columbus, Mississippi, Josiah Bradford. And across the cage, his adversary finding out of the red corner. He wears the white trunks with the black trim. At 6'1", he weighed in 155 pounds. A stand-up fighter making his MMA debut, representing ETA in fight out of Coldwater, Mississippi, Noah Wong. Sounds like a nice contingent from Coldwater here to root on Noah Walk. Clint Kolosinski, third man in the cage. Three rounds, three minute rounds, round one. Here we go on B3 Fights. Walk connects with the right, a little bit wild there as Walk. He's urging Bradford on. Again, he wants to stand and bang. Bradford's gonna try to bang with him. Both these guys are kind of standing straight up. There was a flying knee, almost hit Walk. Walk saying, come on, but I don't think he wants him bringing any more of those into him. Well, Bradford's fast. That flying knee was caught, but then he got hit, and then Bradford takes it down, and that's what he wants. Bradford trying to get, now well, he's a half guard here, but Noah Walk's very gangly, and I don't say that in a negative way. Even though they're both listed at 6'1", he just, Seems to have long legs. Bradford will try to rein some ground and pound, but boy, Walk is just very unorthodox. Always moving. So now you see where that grappling comes into play. Once you're on the ground, striking is gone. He's got two leg rides in. He's really controlling the grappling. He's in a full mount full now. Full mount now. And oh. then, like you said, those elbows can come down. Not on the back of the head, but they can come right down to the face. You see Noah's holding on because he doesn't want those hitting him. Absolutely. Bradford just took his head and pushed it down. But again, Walk is 
is trying to squirm his way out of this thing. But Bradford right now has to take advantage of it with plenty of time to go in this first round. We you saw what happened to Dent with that elbow, how easy it was to open him up. So You get your composure here. You're, you're in a good position. There's plenty of time, and then you go ahead and you strike. What Noah Walk has to do is let go of the head. When you hold the head and try to rotate the guy, you're holding yourself on your back. Good point. And Bradford on top. Now he tries to slip in. He gets a little grounded pound. Again, Walk is able to move himself away. And he's out of the full mount. Actually reversed it. How about that? And we're back up on our feet. And now he's going for a choke. But he Wait. got po he popped right out. Like the guillotine for a second there, but now they're back on the ground. Again, that's advantage Bradford, you would think. Walk oh, very, very unorthodox. Um, oh, there's a shot from Bradford. That one connected, but not a lot have so far in this first round. Walk's done a good job in, in getting away. Being an extremely evasive target. Absolutely. You know, almost through the first round, these guys' nerves have probably settled. They know they're in a fight. Let's see who can take advantage. We're right next to Noah Walk's corner, giving him some instructions here with 25 seconds to go in round number one. You see Noah still holding his head close to him. That's so he can't rain down any punches. I think he's done a very good job to, to limit the damage, to be honest with you. Seconds to go in round number one. Bradford gets loose, but time runs out in the first round. Very interesting. Bradford was able to get it to the ground, which he wanted to, but while on the ground, and even in a full mount, wasn't able to do the damage that you would think he would. And I got to give a lot of credit to Noah Walk for evading that. He was able to evade. Neither guy really had anything too effective, but if I was looking at it from a judge, I would probably give the round to Josiah Bradford. I, I think that he. He actually landed some better strikes standing up, and he controlled the, the ground game. So I think you give him the advantage in that round. Well, I agree with you, too. Plus, in, in the judges' eyes, it's very tough when Bradford was on the offense most of that round, with the exception of Noah Walk, who came out again, very unorthodox, was throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Bradford. But Bradford controlled. It's just that Walk did a really good job limiting the damage. And most of the time, you're not going to see that. You're going to look at the guy who was more uh, more the offensive fighter. It certainly was Bradford. So I'm in agreement with you, Jason, on that. Looks like we got some blood coming out of uh, Walk's nose as well. Sometimes these guys don't get hurt. They don't they don't bleed in practice. And uh, it's new to them. And it Round can scare them. two, here we go. And again, Walk starts out with see a couple of shots. Running. Again, lunging with that left, he misses. Straight left, misses, and then a roundhouse, which is off the mark. Boy, he is letting it fly, and now Bradford is going to do what he wants to do and try to get this thing on the ground, and there it is. When you extend yourself with punches like that, you leave yourself open for a counter shot. Speaking of shots, there was a good right by Bradford, but again, Walk is able to grab onto his arms and hold him at bay. Missed with the elbow. You hear elbows being chanted from the... The fans here at the Summit Center. And that's actually something hard to practice because guys aren't dropping elbows in practice on each other. So it's kind of new to them sometimes, especially some younger kids that have never been to a fight and actually gotten to do it. He walks right in front of his corner, so he's getting instruction, obviously, from his corner right there. Bradford now trying to rain a little ground and pound. Again, Walk, though, is so elusive. Walk isn't letting him get comfortable when he gets the full mount position and starts raining down blows. That's that's for certain, no question. He, he's just he's squirming. It's a bit now. And now now he's, Bradford's he's getting, getting through. Hurt. Now Bradford's raining some ground and pound, and he yanks him back down. Tried for the elbow, but that time he got bucked off him by Noah Walk. Bradford elbows keep missing though because Walk continues to to elude it. And Noah's, Noah's getting into kind of a desperation mode here. He knows he's he's pinned down to the mat. Elbows are going to come down. And look at that. They're getting in there now. It looks like he's no, about he's to not give protect, up. He's not protecting himself no. now, which is trouble. And now he's looking for, what was he, looking for an arm bar there? No, nope. he's just looking to pin his arm down so he can get some punches in there. 
And again, Balk is, is trying his best to get him off. He can't do it, although. And that's it. They're going to stop this and fight. It's done. Although those, those last six, seven punches did not connect, but you saw that Balk was not protecting himself. He was spent. Give a lot of credit to Josiah Bradford because there was that flurry to start the first round and that flurry to start the second round where easily he could have walked into a kick or a punch because of the unorthodox style of walk. But a lot of credit to Bradford. He seemed to be poised and when yeah, he got look down. At, look at look at Walk's face. He's busted open pretty good. Right, right. But look at the poise and the stamina by, by Bradford who seems to be like he could fight another round and a he half without like, a problem. He's got to be prepared and ready to do that. And I think he was well prepared tonight, and it shows. For a 17-year-old kid, look at those elbows, look at the replay, those elbows just cut him open. And it looks like he, he gave up there. He, he didn't want anything else. You see his hands come down. Right, right, stop protecting himself. He, 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 was, he looked out there, he just wanted to quit. Second round, TKO win for Josiah Bradford. Let's get the official time, and then we'll get a few words with our winner. Here's Michael Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce this decision, make some noise for both of these guys. What an unbelievable bout right there. Wow. Loved it. Well, here in the V3 cage, we present the official time of two minutes and seven seconds into round number two. Referee Clint Kolosinski calls a halt to the bout due to strikes, declaring the old winner by TKO victory and getting his first MMA victory, Josiah Bradford! Good win for Bradford to open up his MMA amateur career. And a good win for Relentless MMA. Now let's get a few words with our winner. Here's Jason Leader 5. All right, so you might not know it, but Josiah is only 17 years old and just got his first win. Let's hear, hear it for him. What was your game plan coming in here for this fight? Win. And it looks like you did it. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank uh, my coach, coaches, Jake Breeze and Wesley Boston. I hope you get a free detail from that car wash for this fight. We hope to see you again, only 17 years old, Josiah Bradford. Well done, young man, Josiah Bradford. The second round TKO win over Noah Walk. Both fighters making their name. Coming up next, the V3 fights middleweight division battle between Kevin Bolig and Khalil Killabreeze Boy. Keep it right here. V3 fights on GFL.tv.